Hey guys, today I'm doing an RV tour of the travel trailer that we full time in. It is just under 27 feet and has zero slides. And we're a little different than most full-time RVers in that we do it with all 10 of our pets. So I wanted to kind of go through and show the renovations we did and some changes and how we basically accommodate all the pets with us. So let's go on inside. All right, when you first get into the RV, to my left is kind of the main living space. And then to my right is the little hallway that leads to the bedroom. One thing that was super important to me was having a bedroom that was actually kind of sectioned off as a bedroom. I didn't want like a Murphy bed. I didn't want to have to go back and forth between a dining room table and a bed. I just wanted like a separate space that was actually a bedroom. So although we don't actually have a door and we have to use a curtain to section this off, we do have this like partial wall and actually have like this bedroom space. Something else that was important to me is that you can actually walk around the bed. So I have a walking space here, a walking space here. This space actually used to be larger. We had the normal like RV queen short, which was six inches shorter than a normal standard queen. And the mattress was horrible and we wanted like our own mattress in here. So we went with a normal mattress. So we did lose like six inches of walking space here, but you can still easily shimmy back and forth here as well as having that space here. Cause again, I like to make my bed every day and not having that walking space is horrible. As for storage space in the bedroom, we have what your typical RV storage usually looks like is closet on one side, closet on the other, and then the storage above. So this is actually where we store most of our clothing. On my side of the bed, I do have my purse currently shoved in here because my ferrets like to rummage in it. Basically all of my tops, hoodies, jackets, things like that are all in here, as well as with some extra command strips to hang some tank tops and like an extra clutch. There is a weird gap back there because our RV is rounded on the front. So behind there, I have some baskets that has like my hats, scarves, gloves, things of that nature. On the other side of the bed, since it's a little more difficult to get to, we put stuff that we don't use very often. So my husband's suits over there, my dresses, some really nice tops, his ties, things like that. Up here, we have more storage for clothing. I have 10 of these buckets stacked up in here. And basically we split the bucket space so I have two here. There's two behind this panel that you can see here. There's two that are behind the middle panel and then my husband has two and two there. So we each have four and then we each share two. But basically one of these fits all of my like jean shorts and then I have like one for all my cloth like capris and shorts. And then I have another one for jeans and another one for like pant leggings. And again, because of that rounded corner in the front, um, I didn't want to waste all this space. So I have four of these like shoe box style uh, plastic bins that basically fit like my extra sheets, pillowcases and other stuff I don't need that often. For more clothing storage, we bought these little like end tables. Basically they're plastic bins. We each have two, but basically I have like socks and pajamas, unmentionables, and then my husband has his stuff on that side of the bed. Underneath the closets behind the end tables, there's another gap back there. So I have another little bin that's full of like odds and ends. So I've got like an adult coloring book back there, some mementos, and I have some of the stuffed animals I did keep after downsizing. Yes, I'm an adult and I have stuffed animals. Sue me. My Kindle lives in like a little remote holder on my side of the bed. The rest of our remotes are over here. And we also utilize a lot of wall space because again, not a lot of storage. So we have this little picture frame thing that we can hang hats on because it has those hooks. Behind our TV, I have some command strips where I basically store my spirit hoods, a backpack I use a lot, as well as my dog treat bag. There is a shelf up in that corner that we have like our DVD player and our the giant wallet thing that has all the DVDs that we kept back there. Why Liz, did you say a TV? Yes, a TV. I have watched a lot of full-time RVers like RV tours and I know that's something a lot of full-time RVers, they don't do the TV thing. Something that was important to us that we made to work was having TVs in the RV. So this TV actually runs off of either a fire stick that we have plugged in or we have my husband's iPad that's actually Velcro to his side of the bed and then we have like an HDMI connector and stuff that's actually hooked up to the TV. So whatever we're streaming on the iPad, whether it's a movie or a television show actually will mirror to this. So that way we can have TV. Well, hello, Loki kitty. The last little bit of storage that we have in the bedroom is underneath the bed storage. Loki, you're going for a ride. And this is going to be a hot mess because I mean, it just kind of is, but here's where you start to see some of our pet storage. This is basically a blackout curtain that hangs around the bird cages so I can make sure they get 12 hours of darkness. Um, we have like our fire safe in here. That bag is filled with ferret bedding for their cage. That is extra bird food. That is extra ferret slash cat food. Here's a random pet bed. 
um, and the rest is like bags. So I got all of our luggage here. I have a camera bag here. Uh, one of the backpacks that we use for hiking is buried here. I know it's messy, but just like that and it's gone. All right, so coming out of the bedroom, just outside the bedroom is our hallway. Not really a hallway, but we're gonna call it a hallway. And this is where you can see more of our pet stuff that's stored. So I bought this cute thing that says dog lover on it and it basically has four hooks and here I have stored all of my dog's harnesses, leashes, because I do have multiple leashes and harnesses depending on what activity we're doing. Um, our new kitty cats leash and harness is kind of thrown up here right now. I have some bandanas. Right now it's just kind of a junk pile, but that is all right here. And then coming out of the hallway, back to the front door, if we go this way instead, you can see our pet room. <laughs> this is kind of where you can see one of the first major renovations that we did. So this actually used to be a jackknife sofa here. So from that wall all the way to the end here, we had a little sofa. Ah. We obviously had to put the animals somewhere, so the sofa ended up leaving. So we clearly had to sacrifice some space to have the pets with us. So we have our ferret's cage down at the bottom. Poncho is here. Max is over here and Sunny is here. All right, we're gonna take a time out from our RV tour just to discuss animal welfare real quick. Yes, my parrots and my ferrets are in cages that a lot of people are gonna say are way too small, but I just wanted to mention, before we went full-time RV, they had ginormous cages at the house, but me and my husband were gone anywhere from 12 plus hours, five days a week, sometimes six or seven days a week because we were the bosses and if things happened at our stores, we had to go in. So yes, their cages were bigger, but they didn't get as much outside the cage time. Now, because of our lifestyle change, I am home almost 24 seven. So they are out almost 24 seven, as you can see Pancho back there. So yes, their cages are smaller, but they're actually out of their cages way more. There's a lot of times when days are nice, not raining like right now, where most of us will be outside depending on the weather. So we don't need any negative comments. They really are living great lives. When we bought our cages, we actually bought the biggest cages that would still fit in the space that we had to work with. So when we removed the Jack Knight sofa, part of underneath it was actually our heater and our water pump. So we had to build this box to actually protect that and we couldn't use it as actual space. So the ferret cage basically comes to that end of that box and the end of where that sofa was, so that ended up being perfectly because it didn't go out further than what the sofa did. Poncho's cage here is the exact same size as the ferret cage for width and length. Max's cage is basically the exact same size of which the box had to be. The hardest part was trying to find a cage that would actually fit the little box there for Sunny. But yeah, we made it work. All right, to the left of the cages is another cupboard space that's dedicated to pets. So I do have underneath the bed storage, I showed you my parrot food and my ferret slash cat food, but I do have two bins of each here. So I don't have to go under the bed every day. So I have these two plus the two backups. My dog bowls live up here. I have canned cat food. I have some dog wet food in case of emergency. My ferrets medicine. I have our heartworm flea tick preventative in the corner. Some nuts for the birds. Some seeds that I sprout for the birds. Um, the only thing back there that's not animal related is four thermoses. Here I have all of our birds harnesses and leashes and flight suits which are basically diapers for birds. Yes, my birds have harnesses because we are adventure pets. And the other thing that's not pet related up here is just all the stuff I use for my ninja foodie, including the lid that turns it into an air fryer. Below these cupboards, I have my fruit basket. If you're like me and you've watched other RV tours, you're probably thinking, Liz, where's the fruit hammock? Every single RV tour I've ever seen, they always have a fruit hammock. But quite frankly, that just doesn't hold enough fruit for me. So between me eating so much fruit and these guys who are also fruit eaters, it just wasn't enough. I know right now it's looking pretty lame with my two oranges and my apple, but I swear to you, both these baskets are normal, like overflowing and fruit and some vegetables. So I needed something bigger than a hammock. Moving to the left, you have our kitchen space. So this is where our second major remodel actually happened. So this is actually the original cabinetry that came with it. Um, we obviously changed out the countertop, but you can see here, this used to be like your typical RV propane oven. And we used to have the typical RV propane stove. That oven never really worked very well for us. And since getting the Ninja Foodie, this bakes way better than that oven ever did. And we hated not having a washer dryer in here. And being a smaller RV, we 
found a way to make one fit. So this is a combo washer dryer, which is amazing because now when we have dirty clothes, I just throw them in there. And every couple days when it's full, I just hit basically go. It washes it. It automatically switches to a dryer. And then I just put everything away. So that has been just amazing. So because of this, we had to rebuild the counter. So we used the butcher block. I don't know why I keep saying we. My wonderful husband made this butcher block countertop. And yes, it is a little weird. So you see we have this weird step here. That's because this is the original height of the countertop. And it used to go straight across with the oven. This is much taller than the oven was. So this had to be raised a little bit. We still obviously wanted a stove to cook with. So we did purchase this two burner propane stove, which works just like our other one did and takes up a lot less counter space because we basically only ever use one burner and definitely never used four. So it gave us a little more counter space as well. As for stuff on the kitchen counters, we have our Ninja Foodie out that we use almost every single day. The Berkey water filter, which has been amazing that I use multiple times a day. Obviously some soaps. I have our knife block. I have this tray that I use when we take food outside. We switched from a coffee pot to this pour over coffee, which has been amazing. And then the other big thing again is using wall space. So all this stuff could have been taking up drawers. It could have been taking up cabinets space. Basically, I kind of used it in a nice accent color, so it's kind of like a decoration on the wall, but it's actually more for function. Above the sink area, we do have this cubby hole back here that probably would have made for some good storage, but we do like to have some decorations, so we weren't really needing the space, so we basically just use it as a decorative area. Above that, we have our two cabinets. That's basically our main kitchen storage. That's not food. Again, we utilize the space by hanging cutting boards and a collapsible colander here. And then I have all of our most used spices here, salt, pepper, crushed red pepper, things that we use the most often. Moving inside the cupboard, I have four of these collapsible mixing bowls. This is just a small size pan. These both are actually collapsible pots that we use on the stove, so they actually both get much bigger. We have two larger pots that we don't use very often. And again, trying to utilize every little bit of space. We don't really use paper plates anymore, but I do have this mounted to the roof, as well as this is actually a wine glass holder. And here I have my measuring cup just kind of sitting there. And then these carabiners, carabiners, whatever you call them, come in handy. I have all of my measuring cups, so I have that. These, these are all collapsible measuring spoons. And then I have two sizes of collapsible funnels up there, but they all just kind of hang up there so they're out of the way. Back there, I have my Ninja blender. I have a scale, a coffee grinder, and then we do use regular dishes. So I have a set of glass bowls and two sizes of plates. Our mugs stay in that back corner. We both have two Yeti mugs when we take coffee to go. And then I just have a couple plastic cups, a vegetable cutter, as well as a bunch of these glass jars that actually have lids, which are great for storing food in the fridge. All right, coming below the sink to this storage, as you can see, besides the fact that I'm very OCD and pay no attention to this well-worn paint job, is a second spice rack. So this actually came built into the cabinetry that was already here in the RV, which was amazing. Um, I love these little clear jars. I just thought they were super cute. To the dismay of my husband who does most of the cooking, I really do like the labels backwards. I just think they're super cute this way. Moving down here to this cabinet with the well-worn paint job, um, normally speaking, you would use the handle to open the cabinet. However, my dog actually figured out how to open said cabinet because this is where the trash can lives. So we end up having to put a childproof lock on it right here, which means every time we go to open this, instead of going like this and then this, normally speaking, we just grab here and push the little childproof lock. Hence the really sad paint job here. Oh look, it's my cabinet opening trash fiend. Hello puppy. Next we have these three drawers. It's the only three drawers that we have in the kitchen area. Again, this one you can see is very well worn because we use this drawer all the time throughout the day. Maybe we just didn't do enough coats of primer, who knows? So this is where our silverware and some other odd and ends live. Just like the fact that we use glass plates, I have normal silverware. So I have butter knives, our spoons, our forks. Um, I have like scissors, some corn skewers, a can opener, and some other random things in here. I did keep an electric mixer, even though I don't use it very often. And then we just have like some random things like coasters, these little containers floating around in here. Moving down to the second drawer, this is where I have foil, saran wraps underneath there. I have three different sizes of Ziploc bags. These are the lids to those little clear jars I showed you. This is more like Tupperware storage that's collapsible. And then our batteries live in there. And in this little short drawer down here, I have our George Foreman, because if we cook burgers inside, we cook it on here, not the stove, and another little mixer. Continue our way down the kitchen, we have our little RV fridge. So this is our freezer up here, which again, pet stuff. 
that's bird food that's bird food I, like I told you lots of pet stuff <laughs> and then our fridge we have a six cubic foot I believe uh, fridge thing so I think it's on the smaller side for RV fridges but I can usually make it work for two weeks for people food again pet stuff pet stuff this is pet food this is pet food and I have some stuff back there so again we do have a lot of pet stuff that takes up room and below here I have I believe it's soups and stuff so soups some wraps some odds and ends for food around behind me here is our office slash dining room so dual purpose very important in an RV these three cabinets up here is basically our pantry so I use baskets for organization everywhere but this is where we keep all of our food and stuff here I kind of hijacked a little bit for electronic stuff I have like my DSLR camera and lenses in here this stuff used to live on the table until we just uh, adopted the little kitty we found who likes to knock everything on the floor hence the reason my mouse is up here my headphones live up here. The desk that we're using, again, this is probably the third major renovation that we did. Um, and these are no particular order in which we did them. But this used to be one of those horrible tiny booths that basically went from that wall and came out, I don't know, all along this tiny little aisleway um, and came to basically here. So it was very uncomfortable. And we just really didn't like it. So we did this butcher block table instead, which is like seven feet of desk space, which is amazing. This isn't usually normally here, but we just adopted Loki Kitty. He usually sleeps there during the day. This desk was awesome because we were actually able to take our computer chairs from home, which we super, super love because they're super comfortable. So those are there. To the right of the desk, this is actually a kitchen cabinet from like Lowe's or Home Depot, but it is now an office cabinet. Uh, basically, we just wanted some more storage and we had the space. So this is like a junk drawer. This is like some junk stuff, paperwork, my binder. I have like a calendar thing in there. Up here, again, new kitty is kind of taking over space. Um, this is like our little charging station. Charging stuff looks so cluttered and a mess. So this keeps it all still charging, but like out of sight. Plus, again, I have pets, so they're not messing with wires and stuff, but all of my camera batteries, GoPro batteries, my gimbal, extra headphones, all that stuff's in there charging. And then just some a little extra storage over here. This is like my husband's office area, so he's got like his sticky notes, his glasses live here. Again, his mouse has to stay here or it becomes a projectile object because of Loki. Um, our weather station's here that has temperature for inside and outside. Our Wi-Fi's here and our emergency weather radio is also here. And as you can see, yes, another TV so we spend a good part of our days a lot of the times in here sitting at the desks so we can both see the TV from here and just like the bedroom uh, we have an iPad so this is my iPad that's actually hooked up to an HDMI so we can either use the fire stick that's hooked up to there and use that through our Wi-Fi or we can just stream a movie or TV through there and it'll play on there as well below the desk I bought this um, this is just one of those three drawer things in this bottom ones actually our litter box so really easy for me to get in and out it actually completely comes out to dump but on this side we cut a hole all through here so that way the cats can come and go so this top drawer is still storage for us so this is where I keep like my ring lights are in here GoPro extra stuff basically all my recording equipment lives in there and then finally we have our bathroom so the first thing you might notice is there's no door. It did come with the door. We actually removed the door, uh, mostly just for space because it was very cumbersome once we got rid of the booth and actually used this space here. So we got rid of the door and normally it's not a big issue because it's just me and my husband and maybe we're a weird husband and wife, so we just don't really care. But in case guests are here, we did install this curtain that you can just close. So coming into the bathroom, you can see some creepy princesses on a shelf. So this is one of those things I just couldn't part with that I was still collecting when we went full-time RVing. Obviously I like Disney. I like Disney princesses so they kind of stayed. Besides the creepy princesses that are looking at you go to the bathroom and take a shower, this is a normal RV bathroom. So you have a normal RV toilet. We have our wonderful normal cheap little plastic sink and a normal shower. In our shower we have just a normal over the shower uh, sprayer rack here that 
half of it's human stuff and half of it's pet stuff. Yes, this is dog and cat shampoos. I'm crazy. And this tension rod here works for a couple different things. One, it does come in handy for hanging wet clothes to dry in the shower, but more often than not, it's actually used for the birds. I just set this up in the middle, tighten it, and this is where the birds get their shower. Now, this is also where I store like my hair towel as well as my, I'm sorry, it's disgusting makeup towel. Um, I usually wash this every two or three days. I have three of them and I just switch them out, um, but I don't wash it every time I use it because I use it mainly for my eye makeup and then just wash the rest of my face. I have a mop that lives in here permanently. When we first got the RV, this wall was completely empty, so we installed this towel rack here. This is where our shower towels are, but besides the princesses, that maybe could be a waste of space. This is like where a lot of our medicines are. This little plastic thing is just zip tied to the side of the towel rack, but this is where all of my brushes. I have a straightener in there. I have a curling iron I haven't used in like three years there. A couple decorations, pretty standard medicine cabinet. I was going with a woodland theme because I love foxes. So normally there's just two foxes and a clock there. Um, again, new kitty Loki. All his stuff is kind of everywhere temporarily. Typical bathroom. We do have decent counter space in here. So I have a candle I never use because again, I have pets that candles can't be used around. Mostly I just like the jar. I have another fox thing. My jewelry box is here. This is more storage here. This is where I store all of my washcloths here. I have that bag is full of nail stuff. I have some hair trimmers in that plastic thing back there. A mirror in case I do my makeup at the desk instead of in here. And this wonderful storage, which is now a pet hidey hole. Our ferrets kept going up in there and basically playing in there. It didn't really matter what I put in there and stored in there. So I'm like, well, they want it so they can have it. So basically I put a tension rod, hung this curtain for them. That way they have a spot to play. Below the sink, we have more storage. Um, we're not really going to go in there because that's a mess, but I have a first aid kit in there. Um, I got a couple bottles of Wonderside Flea and Tick Repellent, normal bug spray, sunscreen, all kind of the extra stuff in there, plus my cleaners for cleaning the RV. Again, using every bit of space in here because space is important. I have our little vacuum. So I do have a Dyson stick vacuum. Um, it hangs on the wall on its charger here. Most of the time I just use it as like a hand vacuum. So I leave this little end piece on here and I can just go pick up a spill real quick if I need a vacuum. However, this actually does attach to a, a normal stick vacuum bottom. So it is actually a full size stick vacuum that just hides back there as well as a scale and a little footstool in case we need it. Obviously I have a toilet bowl cleaner, some toilet paper, not exciting at all. The wall to the left of the toilet, I Velcroed these things to it. And basically this is just all my hair stuff. I have headbands, ponytails, clips, unicorn ears because I'm an adult child and just all my hair stuff lives up here. Above the toilet, we have this storage. This is one of the things that was awesome about this travel trailer. Usually you get the big closet spaces that are just in the bedroom, but this came with all this space. And this is nice because it basically comes from this wall of the side of the bathroom all the way to this side of the wall of the bathroom and goes pretty deep. This is actually where all of my husband's like shirts are hung all in here and it goes back pretty far. I bought these shoe organizer things. So I have three of them here. They actually go a lot further, but obviously the space isn't that tall, but basically this is all of my husband's shoes, all of my shoes. So the only shoes that we don't keep in here is like our activity specific shoes. So our swim shoes, our hiking boots, his hunting boots and my winter boots are all stored elsewhere. Like, so our swim shoes are with our swim towels, hiking shoes is with the hiking stuff, just because we don't use them on a, like a daily basis. Other than that, every pair of shoes that we have is in here, including a space for the pair of shoes my husband's currently wearing. Because again, I have ferrets and things that'll actually steal the shoes and chew on them. So everything stays <laughs> off the ground. The third one is actually a towel rack that basically just gives me a spot for all my extra towels. So if you're thinking about either full-time RVing or even just camping with your pets, know that it's completely possible. So that's the tour of the inside. If you want to see a tour of the outside storage, definitely let us know in the comments below. If you're not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified when we do more videos. Thanks for watching today.